course, I'd like to begin by welcoming everyone. Thank you for being here on this beautiful day. I truly can't think of a better venue to celebrate this day with Sarah and Tyler and everyone also. It's no accident that each of you are here today. Each of you are invited to be here because you represent you represent someone important in the individual and collective lives of Sarah and Tyler. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The one person who makes the world a beautiful and magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. I know how deeply these two care for one for and love one another. Today, today, among all of you as witnesses, we're here to witness their commitment to a lifetime of love for one another. I think I've had the good fortune to meet most of you here today, some of you at one point or another. If not, I'm Jake, I'm Sarah's little brother. You don't need my bio, we're here to celebrate Sarah and Tyler. I'm just a little brother, so we'll keep moving on with this, okay? Now, Sarah and, Sarah and Tyler have asked that I keep the speech short, classy, and family-friendly. Also, politely asked me to keep out any unflattering stories, which uh, I won't go into those. We've had some a long time ago, but again, we're here for Sarah and Tyler, not for me to run you down with stories, okay? As a third-party spectator to their developing love, it was extremely clear that the two of them represent a perfect pairing because each of them complement each other so well. They balance one another, and while each of them are tremendous individuals on their own, together they are even better. And being better together as a team, a unit, and also partners in crime. Sorry. That is what that is what has many years in the making and ultimately leads us to being here today, witnessing their commitment to one another in front of those they love most. I wish I could summarize their relationship in one story, but you just can't. They've been through so much, they've done so many things, not one single thing could summarize their entire love for each other. Their passion for each other, their care for each other, they protect each other. They make each other laugh and think outside themselves. That time magically seems to both fly and slow down when they're together. They help each other in ways that are obvious and unnoticed, but always are greatly appreciated. I also know that it's not just anyone with whom you can have communication or simply a look, or remember the weirdest names of the restaurants, the other couples, the weirdos you meet on the beach. They have that connection. And I know sometimes they'll have to say they're sorry, even when they know, even if it takes time, but it will always happen. It's also my personal experiences with Sarah and Tyler that highlight the quality of their love. It doesn't matter if I'm with them or in person, or texting or calling or Zoom chatting or video FaceTiming or whatever it is, I'm certain that they are always enjoying themselves and their time with us. I'm certain that's what makes them so special to each one of us here today, or how happy and concentrated we feel when we're with them. And what I wish for them on their wedding day is that their lifetime together as a team is one of complete contentment, full of those moments that they wish would never end, and that they continue to make one another smile and laugh as much as they make each one of us do here today. So without further ado, we are gathered together here to join Sarah and Tyler in the union of marriage. This contract is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously, and with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. The bride and groom have prepared their vows. Quick ones? You guys can now exchange your vows. Sarah, since the first time I met you 12 years ago, I knew you were the girl that I wanted to marry. I've fallen in love with you more and more each day. I love you and I like you, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you.
sorry, I'm talking about it. It's been seven great years, Tyler. I love you and I like you. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. And now, Sarah, do you take Tyler to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only unto him forevermore? And Tyler, do you take Sarah to be your wife? I do. Do you promise to love? <laughs> I, I, I know you're excited. <laughs> do you promise to love, honor, cherish and protect her, forsaking all others, and holding only unto her forevermore. I do. You guys have the rings ready? Sarah and Tyler were now exchange rings as a symbol of love and commitment to each other. Rings are a precious metal. They are also made precious by you wearing them. Your wedding rings are special. They enhance who you are, they mark the beginning of your long journey together. Your wedding ring is a circle, a symbol of love never ending. It is the seal of vows you have just taken to love each other without end. Tyler, please place the ring on Sarah's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of my love, sign of my love that I have chosen you, I have chosen you above, all else, above all else, with this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. And Sarah, please place the ring on Tyler's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of my love, that I have chosen you above all else, with this ring, I be wed. <laughs> relationship work will take love. Continue to date each other. Take time to show each other that your love and marriage grow stronger with time. It will take trust to know that in your hearts you truly want what is best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another and to learn to grow together. It will take loyalty to go forward without knowing exactly what the future brings. It will take commitment to hold true to the journey you have both pledged today. And here's the good part. You may now kiss the bride and the husband. It's my honor, Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Benjamin.